now we don't have two secant lines. In this example, we have a tangent and a secant line. So when we had a tangent and a secant line, there was a different formula that I gave to you last class period. So you'd want to make sure you have this written down. When you have a tangent and secant line, there is a relationship between their sides. Are we trying to figure out LG? LG is 6. OK, we're trying to figure out what x is. So therefore, the relationship is LG squared equals LH times LR. So just like a secant line, when it was the distance from the, the point to the circle times the point times the whole length of the secant line, you multiply that instead of now when you just have a tangent line, then you're just going to multiply by this length squared. So now let's just plug in the information we have. 6 squared plus LH, which is 2, times this whole length is going to be 2 plus x plus 6. Okay? Well, 36 or 6 squared is 36 equals 2 times 2 plus x plus 6 is x plus 8. Apply distributive property. That means 2 times x and 2 times 8. So I have 36 equals 2x plus 16. Then I subtract 16 on both sides. And now I have 20 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 10 equals x. Anybody have any questions on that? 